here with head coach Ronnie Huckabee in the 20th ranked Bisons with a very tight 24-20 win over Washita. Coach, talk about your team and the way they played tonight. Well, was it anything anybody didn't expect? I mean, it's, it's this way every year with those guys, and uh, we seem to uh, always have a knockdown drag out that gets decided in the last quarter, and sometimes it's in the last minute. Uh, we were fortunate enough to get the ball and back with them having minimal timeouts left. We were able to run the clock out to, to win the football game. But uh, heavyweight battle, a lot of big plays, you know, not a whole bunch of sustained drives, to be honest. Uh, I was really pleased with the way we took care of the football tonight. I'm not mistaken, but I don't think we had a turnover. And they had a couple, which ended up being big. And of course, the last interception was huge. Really proud of our kids. It would have been real easy to get down because they had a lot of the momentum uh, for most of the second half. Uh, but as, if you look, if you go back and look, you know they scored three points and we scored seven in the second half. Most of the scoring was done in the first half, and uh, not surprising to me. Two well-coached defenses that really get after each other. And they have a good understanding of what we what we do offensively, and. Offensively, we just kept battling and battling and battling and battling until we finally found something that we can make work in the latter part of the fourth quarter, and it was a really big force. And uh, of course, Park had a tremendous night, and uh, just so proud of the way he competed. And uh, I, could, I couldn't ask for more out of him, and, and just so proud for our players uh, to be in this position, to be in a position from five and zero, and of course, going into a really big game again next week. Probably the best offense that we've played against this year. What was the mindset of the defense in this one? Well, our mindset was we were going to go out there and get after him and keep him out of the end zone, and we did a pretty good job of that. I mean, those guys are really dynamic offensively, and Austin Warford is is a, is a stud, and you know he's such a great dual threat quarterback. He's really elusive, super hard to tackle, and then they got a great compliment to him with the two tailbacks, Chris Oliver and uh, Brandon Marks. Great offensive line. Uh, just uh, our, our guys on defense just battled and battled and battled and would not give in. And uh, that's a tribute to their coaches and it's a tribute to the way they practice and work every day and a tri tribute to the culture that we have on that side of the ball. All right, Coach. Thanks so much. Congratulations. You bet. Right. Here with Park Parish, the Bisons with a big 24-20 victory. Park, two big plays offensively in the game. Just take us through the pass to Andrew Dather in the first half and then the 75-yard run in the second half. Well, uh, we knew going in uh, early in the week, we talked about some stuff and just watching film last year and watching them this year. We knew that uh, we were going to have an opportunity to make, you know, hit a home run uh, in the passing game. And uh, uh, we you know, kind of drew a beat on them early, and we exploited that weakness that we saw. Uh, and Andrew made a heck of a play on that catch. Uh, I actually thought he dropped it. I turned around and was, you know, kind of kicking myself for it. And I hear the crowd go crazy. Turn around, he's in the end zone. So uh, I have to watch it on film to see how good of a catch it was. But uh, yeah, I mean, we just we knew that uh, we we had an opportunity to hit a home run. We just had to finally, you know, hit, get all our blocks and uh, and get everybody in the right position. And, and we did. It worked out in the end for us. And then in the second half, the the 75 yard run right there at the end that really turned out to be the game winner. Yes, sir. Well, you know, they and they controlled the ball. Uh, I felt like for a lot of the game. And uh, we knew we had some good stuff to talk about at halftime around that midline right there, and we thought that we would have them uh, up the middle. And uh, sure enough, we finally got, got the look that we wanted, and, uh, and, and the blocking was excellent, and it just opened up. I mean, it was just like I could drove a truck through there. But uh, it was nice, it was a good feeling, finally breaking one. So. In a game where the running game is not, was not as explosive as it has been, uh, is, do you get a sense of frustration in there or do you kind of feel like you know that something's coming eventually well you know there is frustration just because we know that that it could be there we're just yeah. missing you know missing one block here uh, missing one read here or there so you know we, we know that we're right there so it can be frustrating but right. we just gotta you know keep on keeping on and stick our head down and keep grinding it out and uh, that's what we did tonight and it worked out for us all right man congratulations thank you yeah here with isaiah jefferson defensive back for the bisons congratulations first on the 24 to 20 victory uh, you're number 24. We won with 24 points. Uh, talk about the defense tonight, with playing against maybe the best offense we've played this season, uh, and just just the way that that the defense prepared and came into the game. Well, it all starts on Tuesday. Uh, the coaches really got us prepared. Uh, constant film, I would say, the most imperative thing that we had to 
uh, take on, knowing their routes, uh, knowing their tendencies, knowing their schemes on third down. And the coaches, the coaches did a great job of uh, preparing us for that. So, uh, and our mentality since we lost two years in a row was really to get this win and get us over that hump. You know, what I mean, to bring us to another echelon. And then uh, I think everybody on the defense really had a an important role to play tonight. And yeah. Okay, you had a, gr a big fourth quarter interception. It seems like this year, so far in the first five games, you're just always around the ball, recovering fumbles, two picks now. Um, talk about the interception late in the fourth quarter that led to the game-winning touchdown. Um, well, you know, the, the clock was ticking, um, and coaches, I always give it to the coaches because they put me in position to make that play. Uh, Coach Trebb and Coach Pankey really coaches us really well throughout the week, and uh, we had a... It was. I was on a bigger guy. Like I was like six six. I'm like five nine. So, uh, uh, coaches had a great scheme and great play, and I was in great position. I was able to uh, make the interception. Congrats on the win, Isaiah. Appreciate Thank you your so time. Much.